Hey, welcome to Taxation of Business Entities, Accounting 322. This is a course that requires a prerequisite of uh, individual taxation. So hopefully you've had that already. If not, email me immediately. Um, there we go, my mouse. You can start with the start here, and it'll tell you where to begin. It has a little bit about me. Um, just local to the state of South Carolina, attended Winthrop University and recently finished my doctorate from the University of Scranton. Um, you can, uh, the uh, course video that you're watching is going to be right here, obviously. And then the course syllabus and the course schedule can be found here. I do encourage you to print the course schedule. It's very important. To keep up with the due dates, you'll also notice a rhythm. You'll be posting discussions on Tuesdays, except for this first one with the introductions. We need to get them done started on Monday, the first day of the course. But the replies will be on Thursdays. They're not specifically on the calendar or the schedule here, but they're close. The initial discussions on Tuesday, the replies are due by Thursday. And then it does have homework assignments, and that's on Thursday. The first one coming up is this week on coming on October 20th. And then there's a tax research project on Monday, exam one on Monday, and then exam two on a Monday, where tax return is on a Monday. So there's three exams, a tax return and a tax research project. And they're all due on Mondays. Discussions, Tuesdays, replies, Thursdays, homework, the weeks that we have them, they'll be due on Thursdays. So it's a pretty straightforward schedule and you'll get into the rhythm of it. And I think it'll be pretty clear. There is one issue that I'm dealing with. I think this is good. I think it's going to work. And with Thanksgiving, when we get into the week of Thanksgiving, replies that they were due Thursday, that would be Thanksgiving day. And that is not going to happen. I'm not, we're not doing that. So I moved the replies instead of being on a Thursday, I moved them to the following Monday. That's good. That solves a problem. Homework is not due Thursday. That would be Thanksgiving, right? That solves a problem. The only thing is I had to load everything up on the next available weekday, which is Monday. So now we've got replies due Monday, homework due Monday, and the tax return due Monday. That's a lot. I'm going to leave it up to everybody in the class to govern them themselves accordingly as far as their schedule and family obligations go. I know some people um, might be traveling on Wednesday. This is an asynchronous class. Y'all can travel all day, every day of the week for the entire course. There's no required meeting times. But I know for the holiday, more likely than not, there's family and travel or not. Some people don't do much of anything. So I'm going to leave that a schedule to you. So what I'm going to suggest is get it turned in early. How early? That depends on your schedule. Work on it over the holiday? Great. Whatever you need. Um, I try not to have, if you notice, I have nothing really to do on the weekends. I think that's really cool. I've moved more and more to that over the last few years. I want to be around <coughs> more likely to be around during the week than on the weekends. So I'm moving more and more due dates to the weekday. So it was important to have that due on a Monday. So just a heads up, you got it weeks before this happens and you can plan ahead um, on that. Now right, let's get back to the course. In addition, the schedule is also available here. The textbook. If you had individual tax already, you should already have this book. If you bought a book, if you rented it or um, have the ebook access, it might still be applicable. If not, you can go to the USCA bookstore or you can rent it directly from McGraw Hill. Six months rentals, 57 bucks. That's not bad. Um, or you can buy a book for 300. Ugh. You can rent it for uh, forever for $92. I don't recommend that, but 57, that's the way to go. There's all your options here. And 
I think that's good. We don't need, looking at the bundle, we're not going to use Connect. I love Connect. It's great. But this course, we're not going to use Connect, even though it's available. Okay? And there might be other options out there. I just thought I'd present those. Be sure, though, that you use the 2022 version. Tax changes every year. Um, there, uh, we might be going with the 23 version in the spring. No decisions been made yet, but um, tax changes a lot and frequently, and you want to make sure we all use the same edition. That way, when you submit homework, even though your 2021 book, let's say, covers it, it could be wrong because some of the rules or some of the tax tables have changed. All right. Let's see what else we need to do. Looking at my list of things to cover, modules. Let's just go through the course. So I'm going to post announcements here, obviously. Um, we're going to have a weekly online session. We'll use Blackboard Collaborate. We'll use Blackboard Collaborate if we need to meet one-on-one -on -one as an appointment also. Um, discussions are here. Course modules, of course, are here. And um, it goes over everything you need. And then I, I copy the schedule and paste it in here so you can quickly find what's due for the module. Um, homework. There's homework for each session. Um, let's look at module one. It's typical. So I just clicked on the attachment. Um, so you'll have practice homework and you want to be able to work the practice homework just as well as the graded homework before you take the exam. They're completed. These are the problems are complete. This is the graded homework. So you'll submit this graded homework. However, you will not be submitting these, but still you want to know them really, really well. Okay. For the exam. And now that we mentioned the exam, let's move on to that. Exams. Three exams. They're open book. You can use your book. You have to have it Microsoft Excel. I suggest strongly that you have a calculator and scratch paper. So it's open book. It's two hours. Um, you need to have everything I just mentioned. Your book, Excel, paper, something to write with. All right. You'll need that for the exam. And then one last thing tax returns we'll be working in groups on those and at the time of this recording i have yet to put that together but i will soon i'll have the tax um, groups done soon but the, there is a, uh how's it going have you met up with your group that'll be due um just to check in just to make sure you've met up with the group and figured out how you're going to work together to complete the return november 8th and then on the 28th That'll be when the returns do. The tax research project, though, is coming up sooner. And it will be due um, on Monday, October 31st. So it's not too many days from now. So you'll want to start the course, dig into the material, and get going quickly. So what else is there that I can go over? Um, under star here i think there is something checkpoint you'll want to make sure you hit register for that if you're coming out of uh individual tax you should be good to go on that already having registered if not um you'll want to follow the directions in the video to register so after you finish this video if you haven't posted your welcome post and replied to at least two classmates go ahead and do that Read through the start here very well. Look over the syllabus very well. Print the course, course schedule. And you know what? Go ahead and dig into module one and under course modules and get ready to start doing your homework for module one. If you have any questions at all, always please email me. That is something I need to cover. Let me do that real fast. This is my office. Um, 
B and E one ten. My office hours this semester are ten to twelve on Monday and Wednesday. I know we're online, right? So I'm going to try to schedule a one hour online optional session that we can all meet. Or if you can't meet, that's fine because it's optional. Also, if you prefer not to e email, is the best way to get up with me. But if you prefer to text, I got a text number, my Google number. I, you could call it, but I don't normally pick up numbers. I don't um, know, but you can text. Just make sure you leave who you are and what class you're in, because I give this out to all my classes, 627-8408. And when you uh, text, again, leave the course number, your name, and your question. Same thing. If you leave a voice message, same thing. Course, name, message. Google, thankfully, can transcribe a voice message, put it into words, and it shows up basically like a text. <coughs> so that <coughs> works great. All right, so that's how you get up with me. If you have any questions, again, just like I said, email is number one. Text is good, and I look forward to a great semester. Thank you.